Well, how do you do, buckaroos? And how the heck are you? I am trying to be whisper. So I'm doing something a little different here. I've got some number 20 special of that drink there. Did you see what's in it? It is on the rock. It is um, it is some um, uh, white mule number 27 with some blue cheese stuffed olives. So I've got two ounces of the whiskey to actually uh, two and a half ounces of the whiskey, to be honest with you, because uh, they're ounce and a quarter shots, two of them uh, to uh, one ounce of the olive juice to olives. I'm going to read just a little bit from the number 27 bottle. A word of caution, if you work hard, play hard, live fast, and this bottle is for you. We take the finest Ozark grains, mash them into ultra smooth syrup and lacquer, and then rest it in vintage cooperage. Our unique secret process brings you an ultra smooth whiskey that you will want at the end of every victory lap. Yeah, they're not kids. I mean, I've been to the brewery. I've talked to the owner. I've talked to one of the distillers out there. They are doing some incredible stuff out there. So what I have here is your number 27, two and a half ounces to one ounce uh, of the olive juice, two olives. So I'm going to call it Dirty 27. <laughs> it's not quite, it's not a Dirty Martini. I wasn't sure if I should call it the Dirty 27, you know, or, you know, uh, in, in homage to Dirty Dozen, call it the Dirty Two Dozen plus three. What do y'all think? Y'all weigh in. Should it be the Dirty 27 or the Dirty Two Dozen plus three? So the aroma, what they do is they have a, I'm not going to get into their process because they didn't get into it with me. I have an idea of what they do, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, they use, uh, they, they use uh, recoupered wine barrels is what they do. I was lucky enough when I was out there that I, I had some 105 proof, which is what they barrel it at. So most uh, big commercial distillers distill. Uh, or or they barrel at about 150 ish, 156 somewhere in that in that neck of the woods. Uh, he only wants to barrel at 105 to percent off flavors. Now he doesn't get as much yield for that, but he, what he does get is a much better, much cleaner product. What they also use out there is is arguably the best water known to man. He's got some perfect water that he's using, so which again gives him a clean product. So what you have here is a young whiskey. But due to certain processes, it's able to taste like a much longer age whiskey. And here I've kind of made a dirty version of. So, you know, Gary and the guys at White Meal, you can weigh into, should I call it the Dirty 27 or Dirty Two Dozen plus three? So the aromas are all awesome on this. This is a whiskey, really, to be honest with you, uh, is uh, probably best served neat. Uh, I've tried it neat. I've had it on the rocks. It's beautiful neat. But I was in the mood for a cocktail tonight of, of so, sorts. So I've got my one big ice cube in there, as you see. Again, two and a half ounces of the whiskey to one ounce of the olive juice to make it dirty. What I have here is obviously, I mean, because you're not seeing me make any face whatsoever, is a very smooth, very drinkable cocktail. Something that I wish was served everywhere. Because <laughs> I would order it, man. It really is that good. And not just because I said so. Now, uh, again, they're doing some great stuff. They're, I, I finished this bottle. It's the first bottle that I purchased from them. They're Mountain Made. Uh, smoked. It's a smoked corn whiskey. 85% corn, I think I said 85% corn, or 80% or 80, 80 corn, 15% uh, wheat, 5% barley, but they smoke the corn, which makes this a very different unaged whiskey. And then they, they put that little bit of uh, hickory in there. It's mostly for aesthetic value, but it does offer a little flavor. What they do then, this 27 is an aged version of that. But I guarantee you, folks, if you like unaged whiskeys, if you're a fan of that style, I guarantee you've never had one as smooth as this one is and flavorful as that one is. Again, 
again, a lot of it's because he bottle or he bottles, he yeah, barrels at 105. Uh, that's part of it. The other part is that the, the the grain of smoke, which gives you that whole other flavor dimension. And then here you've got that age and the recoup of the wine barrels, and you've got something else together with something else. So anyway, I'm just going to sip the rest of this drink, but I wanted to kind of share it with y'all because I love you two. We're, we're in this together, man. Hey, I'm trying to be a whisperer. Uh, today I'm the Whiskey Whisperer, man. Uh, if you get a chance, if for whatever reason, I don't know why you would be, but if you ever have to be passing through uh, Purdy, Missouri, you need to stop at White Mule Distillery. They are doing some of the best beers on the planet. In this humble Whiskey Whisperer's opinion, I am trying to be a whisperer. We'll talk to you later.